Yo, what's up, guys? This is JJ, and I'm bringing you guys a NBA Live Mobile coin making method guide on how to make coins and how to succeed in the game, get your team to the highest overall possible, and maintaining a good coin um, coin number. So, as you guys can see, I'm at about 50,000 coins. If you did not see my last video, I was at about 1,000, 2,000, somewhere around 3,000 coins. And I just have made this by playing gradually about a half an hour a day. I use awesome sniping filters. I've gotten some pretty nice snipes. And I'll definitely be showing you guys how to get those coins and how to, um, what filters to use and how to snipe players. So I'll definitely go through all that as along with some other um, ways to make coins. So the first one, as always, is live events. That's the easiest way to make coins. All you need is stamina for this. Today they do have the Road to the Riches out. Road to Riches. And you can win up to a 50,000 coin coin collectible and that is the maximum you can get and the bare minimum you can get I believe is I uh, I believe it's a hundred coins so that would not be very good because you're using force stamina but if you do get that 50,000 coins that is very nice profit and that will definitely help out your team a lot second of all, second of all I do not like to do these because I'd rather use my um, stamina on something else but these are a great way because you get a free hoops pack I believe at the end of the week if you complete all these which is like a free pro pack and <coughs> <clears throat> and with that hoops pack, you can pull, uh, well, you get guaranteed gold, or you can get a guaranteed elite, or not, a, you get a guaranteed gold or better player. So that is a very nice way. You can also sell that player for about 5,000 coins, if not a little more, give or take a few coins. So other than that, you do have your season games. These are a very way, great way to make, uh, these are a great way to make coins. You do get 80 or 800 coins and 60 points for 800 coins and 60 XP points. That will help out your, um, Stamina as well and your level so that's a great way to get coins as well and then you do got a shooting drill I don't think this gives you many yeah you're only getting about 400 coins for doing this so not too bad and it's nothing too great as well but this one you do get more coins it's NF or NBA supremacy it's like the domination in Mad Mobile and you just complete this and you well I guess you have to have a big man lineup for this event and you have to unlock it at level 10 so I'm one level off but what you do get if you do win for your first one you do get about a thousand coins and then you do get 45 XP, which is very nice. Uh, almost a thousand coins that goes for that's a little more than um, a thousand coins in this game is more than a thousand coins in our uh, Madden Mobile. So that is pretty nice as well. The next one, of course, is sets. I mean, you guys all know this sets are very important. You do them. Here's your tutorial set and you do get a hoops pack, as you guys can see. Yep, you do earn a hoops pack, and I'll just throw that one in there. And then, you do get all these um, different players. These are like your... Those are like your um, Road to the Ring players, I believe. I believe those are like your Road to the Ring players. But, those are a great way you get free elites from that. Just by completing uh, challenges on in the live events. And then you can sell those players as well. And then you got all these teams. And these are actually not a bad way, because you do get a gold player. And it only costs you... A gold trophy, which goes for about 3,500 coins. And then a uh, bronze and a silver player, which are, they're pretty cheap. So, that is not bad. And you do get 2,500 coins from that, I believe. If it's anything, yeah, yeah. It's just like Mad Mobile. You get 25,000, or 2,500 coins and a gold player for that. So, that is very, very nice. And you got these impact players. They are elite players. And these are like your, I don't know exactly how to describe this, but... These are your elite, tro you need 15 elite trophies, which go for about 5,000 coins, which is a lot cheaper than Mad Mobile. And then 15, um, Bulls gold players, and then it's like a legendary collectible for Derrick Rose, which I'm sure goes for quite a bit of coins. Um, so that's a great way if you get that collectible, put, put that in the set, or just, I mean, even sell it, you'll get some good profit from that. And last but not least, we do got the upgrades. Here is your quick sell and large quick sell. A quick sell is not too bad because you can range from anywhere from, I believe, a thousand coins up to 25,000 coins, so if you get that 25,000 coins, it's very, very nice. Large quick sells are a little bit more risky. You do have to add the gold trophies and the silver and five gold, or four gold, five silver, and five bronze, and you add those into the set, and you can get anywhere from 1,000 coins to 1 million coins. So if you get anything, I'd say above 20k or 25k, <coughs> you're making very nice profit, so I would definitely recommend doing that if you're, um, if you're feeling really lucky, so go ahead and do that. And then, you do got all these exchanges down here. If you do have uh, um, reserved, or if you do have bronze players and silver players in reserves, go ahead and toss those into the set, and you do get six. It's like a six trophy pack, so you can get a gold from that, sell that for, to make coins. An elite, you can sell that to make coins. 
actually even a silver trophy you can sell to make about on my server they go for about 1200 coins so that's very very nice as well but let's go check out the filters that i've been using so now this is what i've been liking to use I do get a lot of snipes at a time, and they are um, good profit snipes, too. So you're going to just want to go and type in gold trophy and go for about 2,000 coins. As you guys can see, you get all these snipes that do drop for 2,000 coins. And, oh, my bad, did not mean to do that. But let's go check out what the original price for this is. I believe I believe we'll find them going at about 3,500 to 3,800. So they will be going about 3,500, and I guarantee you they will sell because these will go by quickly. So you're making at least, you'll be making anywhere from, I'd say 1,200 to 1,500 coins, if not more, every time you snipe one of those trophies. So that really does add up, and I promise you guys, I'm at 50,000 coins, I have bought in a couple players for my team, and I'm still at 50,000 coins, and I really have not been um, binge playing this a lot, I've just been playing it, uh, I'd sit down for about half an hour every night and play it before. I go to bed and I do make this, I made this many coins already, so that is a great way to make coins, I promise you guys on that. So next one I like to do is go to gold players, and this is really, really easy because a, a lot of them do drop as well. You get all these players that drop for 2,000 coins, 1,000 coins, and 1,800 coins, and it's really that easy. You get you, What I like to do is I scroll snipe, like when I see them come over, I scroll over and I just click on a random one and I buy it, I don't get to really see who I buy. But that player is pretty much guaranteed to make you 1,500 to 2,000 trophy or coins, and if not more. But that is an awesome. Uh, that is also a great way to snipe players and make coins. So now an another one I like to do is I like to go 77 overall for a gold player as well because these players do go for a little bit more, and you'll be making more profit. But they're harder to snipe. And now let's go check out and see if there's any of um 77 gold players going for 5,000 coins. So there are a few, there are some going for about 4,500 to 5,000, so that would be nice if you could get them for 2,000 coins. That means you could make, or you could sell those guys to make about 2,000, 3,000 coin profit. All you need to do is type in 77 overall and go to 2,000 coins. There are none up right now, but I promise you they will drop. So that is also a great way to make trophy, or to make coins. And now I do have one more snipe, or one more sniping filter that I have been using, and I'm sure this will help you guys a lot. So you do see me put in a silver collectible here, and really you guys are like, oh, it's probably not going to be anything good and you're not going to make anything. But actually go to silver trophies, and let's go check out what their actual price is. Because these things go for a lot of money in this game. They go for a lot more than you would think. Let's go check out 1500. Look at this, they're going for more than 1500 guys. So let's go check out 2000, I'm sure that'll be the uh, capping point that they're... Oh my goodness, they're even selling at 2,000. Okay, so that is an unbelievable way to make coins. We're selling at 2,000 coins. And now all you need to do is type in 1,000. And you get all these, you get you get them for 500 coins, 1,000 coins. And you just go to the auction block and you sell those for the 2,000 coin. You sell those, you put them up for 2,000 coins and you will be guaranteed to make profit. And you, I'm sure not a lot of people look at this filter because they don't think silver trophies are of to any value of any, for anyone. So definitely go check this filter out because you will make coins as well. So, and now one more um, thing that I'd like to talk about. <coughs> it's a hoops pack. Now these hoops packs go for 15,000 coins, which I believe they're that much because in Canada, their prices are like double for this game. So I would not recommend buying them because 15,000 coins is a lot for a hoops pack and you're only getting one gold or better, which... About 85% or 75% of the time, if not a higher percentage than that, you're not going to get an elite trophy. Or get an elite player, my bad. And you're going to get that gold, and you're going to sell them for about 3,000 to 5,000 coins. But you're still going to be out that 10,000 coins that you could have saved towards a player, or an elite player. So definitely be sure to manage your coins when it comes to buying packs. But, I mean, if you are making a lot of money by using these filters, I would definitely recommend using these. You can buy packs all you want. So just continue to use these filters, guys. Do your live events. Complete the sets that you can. And you will be guaranteed to get a higher overall team and make coins. So, guys, I'd say that's probably going to conclude the video. Thank you guys for tuning in with me as I um, sh am sharing you guys this NBA Live Mobile Coin Making Method Guide. Make sure you guys drop a like if this did help you as it did help me. Comment down below telling me how you feel about this video. I do love reading your comments and I will reply to you. And last but not least, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content as I'll be bringing it to you almost daily. So everybody, take it easy.